Hi, I'm Andy Grayson. I'm a project specialist at the Concord Free Public Library. Today we're talking about the Amazon Fire TV Stick. So what is it? It's a really useful device created by Amazon that allows you to stream music, TV shows, movies, and more on any TV with an HDMI input, which most modern TVs have, and a Wi-Fi connection. The stick also comes with a remote to navigate through menus and streaming apps, such as Netflix or, of course, Amazon Prime, just like any video player, such as a DVD or Blu-ray player. A cool feature of the remote is that you can also operate it with voice commands, but more on that later. Before we get into the parts involved with the device or any of the specifics of how to use it, a quick word on our circulation policy for this device. We encourage patrons to use the free channels and apps which we have installed on the stick, which include awesome programming like PBS and a great selection of movies and television you can access with just your library card using Canopy and Hoopla. But we recognize that some patrons may want to use their own Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime account information to stream their favorite content. You are welcome to use these services on the stick. However, the patron is responsible for logging out of their own accounts before returning the stick to the library, including Canopy and Hoopla. We do not take responsibility for accounts left logged on when the stick is returned to the library. So, what are the parts involved with this device? There's the Amazon Fire TV stick itself, the Alexa voice remote, the power adapter, a USB cable, and an HDMI extender cable. Pretty simple. To get started, connect the small end of the USB cable into the Fire TV stick. Next, stick the large end of the USB cable into the power adapter, like so. Plug the power adapter into a power source. Finally, plug the TV stick into an HDMI port on your TV. You can optionally use the HDMI extender to improve Wi-Fi and remote performance if you're having trouble fitting the TV stick into the HDMI port on your TV. Lastly, turn on your TV and select the appropriate HDMI input. The Amazon Fire TV stick should be all set up with a library account. However, you will need to connect your Wi-Fi network in order to use the streaming services, and some patrons may want to adjust settings such as language. Most likely, once the stick is connected and your TV is on, the first message that will pop up is network connection lost, or something similar. Select network settings. For Wi-Fi, select your network from the list, or if your network is hidden, select see all networks. Most patrons watching this will likely have a password protected network. Have your password handy if you don't have it memorized in order to connect to your network. Enter your password and you should connect to your network and be ready to watch, listen, and learn. Hit the home button to view the streaming apps and start streaming. If you want to use the voice control feature of the remote, you can use simple commands such as open Netflix, open Netflix, here's Netflix, or play Maniac, just as an example of a show to stream. Simply hold down the microphone button at the top of the remote and speak into it. If you have any questions, you can visit www.concordlibrary.org and then navigate to the Library of Things webpage, call the library at 978-318-3300, or visit the circulation or reference desk at the main library.